Hey friends, how are you today? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be just kind of a chatty video where I'm going through some things, okay? So if you're having a busy day, you can just turn this on and kind of listen and do what you're doing because I'm not really applying anything, but I am going through and talking about some things in relation to holiday makeup. So before I get really into doing tons of reviews this season, which I have done one, my little Clinique Black Honey set, I couldn't help myself. I went ahead with that. But before I get deep into into new and limited edition holiday sets and all this stuff, I wanted to talk about some of the things that seem to come out year after year after year, things that are kind of standard or permanent products that maybe you get a little better value on during the holidays that I would really recommend. You may not see them in a haul. I mean, maybe I'll stock up on some, maybe I won't, just depending on how much I have currently. But I just thought, gosh, these are great products. There's a possibility to get a better deal on it during the holidays, or there's just something special about it for holiday. And it might not get mentioned because it's not something I'm newly purchasing, but I think they need to be highlighted. So that's what I'm going to do today. I don't think I've ever done this ahead of the holidays, but let me get my list. So this first one is a great example, the Shiseido Lash Curler in gold, their special lash curler. Isn't it so festive? It's got the little red pad there. This is my favorite eyelash curler. I love it. I feel like it fits my eye better than anything. Um, the squish to the pad is just perfect. Sometimes the pads are too hard, and if it is too hard, you're not really getting a curl going, you know what I mean? And maybe some of this is like a personal thing, but like the curve right here, sometimes on a lash curler, the curve is not like wide enough, it's not flattened out enough, it's looking more close to a U shape rather than this nice shallow bend, and because of that, I feel like I just really reach everything on the lash line really nicely, whereas you could see if something was a little bit of a steeper curve, it might not get in touch with the whole whole lash line in the proper way. So there are a lot of reasons why I love this. They normally sell this in just like a gunmetal sort of silver shade. It's the same product. It works the same, but around holidays, they'll put it out in gold. And there's an example of something I don't need to repurchase, and it might not end up getting talked about otherwise. But I wanted you to know both Ulta and Sephora are selling this, and it's beautiful. It's a great product. It's my favorite lash curler. And I also feel like it's a very nice, giftable thing for someone. Like you could give them one of these and an IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and it would be like their best lashes, you know? So I definitely wanted to shout that out. That has become available again. For a while, I think into the start of 2022, Ulta was carrying your choice of the gold or silver, but I guess that was just temporary. This is really just a holiday release, the gold one. Here's another thing, and I don't have these up here right now, but the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. I do not need another one of these. Like, I've got them in different special edition scents they've put out, like the Peppermint, and what was the other one? Ginger Snap, those were so good. Just the regular berry is awesome. You will always notice that Laneige puts out some kind of holiday set on Sephora, and it's something I would totally recommend. Um, this is a great nighttime lip treatment, so you're gonna slather some on before bed and just let that soften your lips. You'll wake up and you will usually have a really nicely hydrated but not goopy feeling on the lips. I feel they are very on point with their scents. The texture is beautiful. It's not sticky. It's just a really, rich balm, okay? Bub gets dry lips sometimes. He's like, do you have any kind of lip balm I can put on? And I'm like, uh, you're asking the right girl about lip balm. But if we're talking about a before bed thing, I'm like, this is the heavy duty stuff. And I gave him a couple of the ones I had. But the one that they have out this year, let me pull it up. Okay, they've got a couple different things. They've got a Sweet Dreams Trio. It looks like that's going to give you the full size original berry one. Ooh, they're also putting in pumpkin spice and peppermint. I haven't tried the pumpkin spice, um, but I know the peppermint is so good. It has that kind of cooling effect, so that would be a really nice one to get. And then they've got like a five-piece mini set, and in that one you're getting berry, gummy bear, mango, vanilla, and mint chocolate. I've tried the berry, gummy bear, and mint chocolate. Those are all good. I bet the vanilla is awesome, honestly, and mango, that sounds good too. So it's one of those things, you know, if you're curious about it, I would really recommend one of those sets. It's a great way to sample some of the different flavors and scents, and it's also something that you could gift to someone and anybody could use it. Honestly, man or woman, you know, everybody can use some lip moisture, especially in the winter time. So I would really recommend the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Um, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I did remember to bring a visual aid up for this. I love this. This is my every night serum before bed. This is a constant, okay? I have certain skincare constants. And at nighttime, I use this, and I most of the time use e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream on top of this.
this, although I have started experimenting a little bit with the newest version of the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, but this is always what's going to be going on my skin first because I feel it really makes a difference. I would say the biggest way it's made a difference for me is in the surface of my skin, the skin texture. When I was noticing I had little bumps, and I remember the video where I was talking about it, I was like, what are these like little tiny bumps I'm having on my forehead? They're not exactly zits, but they're definitely like a texture I don't want up there. And Milia is the name for that. And I tell you, after a few weeks of using this consistently, those were gone and they're not coming back. And if I have to go a few days without using this, I feel like I notice an effect on my skin. So if I'm doing slacker skincare and I'm just putting on, you know, a face cream at night because I'm exhausted and I don't want any extra steps and there's been stomach flu going around. It was that week when I was a real slacker on the skincare because I just couldn't be bothered to do one extra thing. But I will notice and I'll feel like the skin looks more dehydrated and so therefore the texture of everything just doesn't look as smooth. So I love this. It's Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and usually around the holidays it will be sold in conjunction with maybe a couple of other things making it a little better value. You might also see this um, in kits in a smaller size and that might be a good way to try it. You can call up my buddy David who is the resident makeup artist for Estee Lauder at Bergdorf Goodman in NYC and no matter where you live in the country you can talk to him. He can recommend products to you and he can ship them out just the same way Sephora can, okay? So I would highly recommend contacting him for any info. They do deals as well. But just as a for instance here, I saw on Sephora you can get this. They've thrown in a couple of Estee Lauder, you know, creams alongside it and it would just be a nice way to get to try this and get a little better value out of it. But it's for sure one of those things where I love it, I have it, I already have a backup. I will not probably be buying any more this holiday season, so that might not get mentioned, but it's a really great thing holiday beauty-wise to think about. Needs to be on your radar, okay? On the topic of staple skincare, in the morning, my morning um, face cream that I always used is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a look at the super size jar. It's glass, y'all. It's fancy. I've already put a deep dent in that. It's a buttery looking cream. It has a fresh kind of citrus scent. The texture is so good for under makeup because it makes you feel like you can get away with anything on top because your skin has been so nicely nourished by this cream. The moment you put it on, the skin comes alive. It's like, okay, I've had my drink. And now the texture is softened, hydrated. And if you feel like wearing matte full coverage that day, you can do that. Oh, another thing I would like to jump back and say about Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Just the other day on David's Instagram, he showed taking a drop of this and mixing it with double wear. And he put that all over his skin and it looks so beautiful and radiant. So that's something to think about, mixing your serum in with a fuller coverage foundation and seeing what happens. It looked great on his skin. You can follow him at makeup underscore whisperer on Instagram. That's linked below also. And you can see all kinds of makeup ideas, tips, tricks, but I thought that was really cool and I wanna try that. But back to the face base, this is another thing that you may see like in a super size somewhere or like Sephora right now has a two pack of them for holiday. I love this stuff and I'm a normal to dry skin type. I will say that. If I was super duper oily, I'm not sure I'd feel the same way about this, but because my skin type is what it is, you know, I'm getting older, I'm 38 years old, I feel like I can use all the extra moisture I can get and this just always seems to be the right thing underneath makeup. Like holy grail status, when I run out, I get more. Like it's just that kind of a cycle for me. This is not an experimental product. I have gone through several. It is not something where I'm even considering using something different. Like this is the thing. Now, if I were trying to save money and not get this, I will say two other options, like drugstore things that I think are still really good from a face cream standpoint. Elf Holy Hydration, they do have an SP version or you can just you know use a different SPF and get regular as your daily moisturizer that's fine I use that at night and then ColourPop slash fourth ray they have something called the daily facial moisturizer and that's pretty rich as well but that Bobbi Brown is truly my holy grail I have to say and this is a time of year when you might get a better deal on it. Sol de Janeiro they've got some great looking holiday sets I love so many of their scents I bounce around among them a lot I notice they have a sampler set of mists if that's the primary way you want to take Take in their smells. They have a little mist sampler. They have a nice multi-pack with their original Sol de Janeiro, like the bum bum cream sort of scent. And then they also have my top, top favorite, the 
Bombdia Bright. I noticed they have a set involving this as well. This is the big size of the spray. We've already drained one smaller size. I say this every time, but the girls love misting this on before school. I mean, oh, it smells so good. There's something a little, a little tropical, a little fresh, a little like absolutely edible and delicious about this. It's just one of those smells where I'm like, that's the smell I want to be associated with. If we're talking light and fresh, it's so good. And I have the cream as well, which I love. Um, let me take another glimpse at what's in the set. Do I need it? Um, they do have one thing that I don't have. They're including the clarifying AHA BHA body wash in the scent, but you get the cream and you get um, a small size of the mist. I'll probably be needing backups, by that time, I might purchase that one because I really would like to try that um, shower cream as well. But that brand as a whole has put together some good sets. And you know, if it's something like this where I've loved it, I've repurchased it, I've found the bigger size, I've done whatever it takes to get it, like I, I clearly love this stuff. Holy grail status as far as a body mist goes, absolutely. It's just the yummiest scent ever. They describe it as black amber plum and vanilla woods, if that means anything to you. It's, it's hard to explain, but all I can say is in comparison to the other scents I have, I've got that light pink one, that newer one, um, the original Bum Bum scent, I've got the Coco Cabana, which is in the green color. Those all, maybe with the exception of the light pink one, that's maybe slightly more floral, but the other ones are just so, so tropical. This is less tropical and more yummy. That's all I hit. More yummy. Another thing that isn't necessarily a holiday set, well, maybe it is. I'm not sure. I saw they have a replica mini perfume set, and I have one of these as well that I've been using out of for a while. If I'm into having a stronger scent on, which maybe, you know, getting into the fall and winter, I'm more down for that, like the jazz club or by the fireplace, autumn vibes. This is a very, very high quality line of long lasting, rich, and very accurate fragrances as they kind of outline the inspiration, you know, under the lemon tree, bubble bath, sailing day. I feel like there was a big conversation in the comments section under one certain video and a lot of people were sharing what ones they love the most. And these little sampler guys, I mean, they're little, but it does give you a really nice chance to try the different scents. Um, getting a full size, you know, it's going to cost you over a hundred dollars probably. So it's kind of nice to get to sample and play. And that's an example of something that I'm, you know, not probably going to repurchase. I really wish I could get access to Whispers in the Library. I love that one, but they don't have it anymore. But I just noticed that. I thought that's a very giftable item. I should probably bring it up in this video because I may not have any other reason to as I'm talking about new holiday finds. So everything I've talked about so far, I've kind of like gotten the idea through Sephora's website, but there were a couple of things that I saw on Ulta. Um, you can get a superhero mascara, and they also had, I think, a no-tug eyeliner and a brow power. Now, I like the brow power pencils. My mom really likes those too. I feel like it's been a while since I've used an It Cosmetics No Tug liner, but bottom line, you're getting a full size It Cosmetics mascara and a better deal on it. And we know how I feel about this thing. All right, I'm wearing it today. I love superheroes so much. The short story on this is it's the most impactful mascara I have in terms of a big lash look. It gets you there quickly and therefore doesn't make you spend a ton of time raking through and dropping your curl because that's really what happens. If your lashes don't like to curl naturally, sweeping through them a zillion times will inevitably straighten them out. So if you have a mascara that can build quicker and also dry quicker, you will have the best chance of maintaining your curl. And I really feel like whenever I use Superhero, they're standing at attention all day long. I'm always satisfied with it. It does not flake off. It's the standard by which I judge all other mascaras, okay? So if you can find a value on Superhero, that's great. And another sort of deal, which I don't know if it's a new deal, but it might definitely come under the giftable category. It's part of a kit that involves It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I think this is a really cool thing because you can customize the CC Cream, the full size It Cosmetics CC Cream that you want in this kit. And you get a couple extras as well. One of which is a mini Superhero and the other is a mini like setting spray. And they say you can choose your finish. So on 
Ulta's website, they're showing like three different ones. The new Nude Glow, so if you haven't tried that, that could be a fun option. The regular CC cream, which is our fullest coverage thing. Less glowy, less light on the skin, so it's a little heavier. And then the Illumination, which I'm using Illumination. I have this like super size of it. I need to use more of it. Um, but I've got the Illumination version all over, and to me personally, I feel it's a little more coverage than the Nude Glow. Also just more luminosity as well. The difference between the Nude Glow and the other formulas, it's just, it's thinned out. It still gives you moisture. It's beautiful on the skin. But it's just a lighter take on CC cream. So I think it's cool that you get to pick one. And then on Sephora's site, they reference the matte version also that you could put in. But I thought that was really cool. I'm a CC cream fan. I love that it's got all that SPF in there. I like that it has a good amount of moisture as well. I feel like I've had reasons to enjoy every version that has come out. The Nude Glow has a slightly lower SPF. It's SPF 40. But if you're into a lighter weight feel, I mean, the, the regular CC cream, that's heavy duty. That really in itself covers a lot. And that's probably still like kind of favorite status for me. But you have a lot Lighter end you can go to and then the illumination like it does look really pretty does it not more glowy but still does have that coverage element to it so you could try that set also get a mini mascara, also get a mini Your Skin But Better Mist, which I don't have a lot of experience with, but I thought that's cool that that's in there. So guys, I think that wraps up some things that I wanted to talk about that you might be thinking about for the holidays that I would totally recommend, but they're really not new things. They're tried and true items. As I look through my list, so many of these are skincare and body oriented, really, but could make fantastic gifts for someone in your life. But I wanted to get that out there before I start getting into all kinds of palettes and sets and really holiday specific things that I noticed have come out. I thought these things need a shout out too. So thank you for watching or listening today. I really appreciate it. If there's anything else you can think of that you've seen that's kind of like a really good holiday deal on something, this may be one of your holy grail products, let us know in the comments section and I will talk to you guys again soon. I love you. Bye.